when it comes to carrying out certain types of renovation work, particularly roofing, there's one piece of equipment that's useful and even indispensable, the hoist, often referred to as a tile hoist. You can rent this tool, of course, but why not buy it if you've got some major work to do and then maybe share it with neighbors or fellow DIYers. So this hoist I've decided to test is designed for craftsmen and DIY enthusiasts. In fact, it has a name, Casto, which is what people used to call people who build their own homes. The basic kit for the Castor steel is made up of several components. At the bottom of the hoist, there's a chassis on wheels which carries the electric winch. Next, there's a trolley on wheels. Then there are four ladders depending on the height to be climbed. And on these ladders, we'll place a knee joint. The knee joint is pre-angled, but it's adjustable. Then there's a headboard fitted with a pulley and a platform with a side panel. Finally, there's an electric cable equipped with an automatic stop and a remote control. So I start by installing the trolley on the chassis. That's when you see that it's fitted with an anti-fall brake. Then I'm going to assemble it on the ground, so I tilt up the chassis and thread the various ladders together. No tools are required for assembly and it's held together by pins. That's it. I insert the pin. And we're going to use the ladders, well, two or three or four ladders, depending on the height we have to climb. There, threaded and pinned. And now the third ladder. As the winch cable has to run inside the ladders, I pass a rope beforehand, which will enable me to hoist it up once we're up there. So I pass the rope inside the ladder. Now we're going to pull the machine up against the facade and onto the roof. Of course, this is done by several people and the operator on the roof is equipped. He's wearing a safety harness and is secured to avoid any risk of falling. So I'm going to attach the head of the last ladder so I can pull it up. Come on, let's go. So the hoist can be either vertical against the wall, in which case it'll have to be anchored, or slightly pointed, minimum 30 degrees. So here, I'm going to bring the chassis forward to give it a slope. It's pretty good. Now I'm going to orient the wheels differently so that the machine is no longer in the rolling position but in the support position. There you go. Uh, the chassis is now perfectly supported and can of course be fixed either through the holes here or in front of it, simply with pegs for example. The next step is to place the knee joint at the top of the last ladder and in the same way as the ladders are attached to each other, the knee joint is secured by a pin. And at the end of the knee joint, we'll immediately position the headboard. All this is fitted with pulleys, of course, because it's on these pulleys that we're going to run the cable that will raise the trolley. And here again, the attachment is simply pinned without any tools. On the headboard, I fix a parachute system, which is in fact an automatic trolley stop. In other words, when the trolley comes here, it stops automatically. And then there's a cable link to the lower part of the machine. The connection cable runs down the front of the facade. 
So now I connect the unit to the mains and plug in the remote control. I also connect it because we're going to need to operate the winch to free the cable. So by pressing the downside, I'll be able to raise the cable. The cable climbs little by little and passes over the various pulleys. So the cable passes over the upward pulleys and then on the down pulleys. This is the trolley's traction cable. Here we'll attach a rope and pull the cable all the way down. And we're going to pull from the rope at the bottom. I'm lowering the cable all the way down. So now I'm going to secure the cable to the bottom of the trolley using this slot and this pin. So the pin is threaded through the cradle and onto the cable. And I screw it all together. And the machine will soon be up and running. That's it. Now all that's left to do is hook the cargo bed onto the trolley and it too is secured by pins. The material hoist can lift up to 150 kilos and it's equipped with a stroke limiting system that is to say an automatic stop at both top and bottom. Mounting materials with equipment like this is child's play. It's almost like playing a video game. And the automatic brake means the trolley can't go back down no matter what, even if there's a power cut. And the basic equipment can be fitted with options and additional accessories, in particular ladders for climbing up to 20 meters, as well as shoring and anchoring systems.